What we're going to look at today is how to set up your Chromebook for it to read to you. So first of all, once you're logged into your Chromebook, you're going to go ahead and click in the lower right hand corner and we're going to go to our settings. Once you're in your settings, you're going to scroll down the left hand side and we're going to find accessibility. Lots of great features here. We're going to look at our text to speech option, which you're going to find located right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text to speech. There are two options here for text to speech. We have Chrome Vox, which is going to be for people that are visually impaired and they need to have things read, read to them, or we have Select to Speak. So Select to Speak is going to be where you can select things and have it read to you. So right here I have it slid on, and so it is turned on, and here's going to be our settings. So when we look at our settings, we're going to leave our language set to device language. We're going to set our voice here. There are a couple options. We'll hear them. So this is the system voice, and you can hit play. Hi there. I'm your text-to-speech voice. That's not really one of my favorite sounds to hear, so you can go ahead and choose another one and hit play. Hi there. I'm your text-to-speech voice. All right. So then you have a couple more options here I would take a look at. So we have automatically change language to match content. We'll stay there. Um, natural voice preview. Hi there. I'm your text-to-speech voice. Okay. And then you can go ahead and... Um, choose uh, different ones. You notice that you have your English um, India voice and different ones uh, within there, different accents. Hi there. I'm your text to speech voice. So if you have your natural voice on, you're going to want to choose this one as there, where, there as well. Now, this I think is a great option and where it's going to go ahead and highlight the words as it's spoken. So I'm going to slide that on. So then you can go through and change the highlight color, but I like the blue highlight color. It's one of my favorite colors. So you're going to know that your accessibility is on. I'm going to hit the X here to close it because you're going to see this icon located right here in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Chrome browser. So here's Chrome. I have a couple documents open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, select. And now I can go ahead and click down here on the bottom. And our, I can shoot, hold down the um, search bar and the letter S. And that is going to be um, my short go T. Play. Go to playspend.org. Click on continue to spend on the right side of the screen to start the game. Be sure to answer the questions below as you proceed through the game. Go to playspend.org. Click on continue to spend on the right side of the screen to start. So you'll notice that the first time it didn't have it come up um, with this play button and then I double clicked and then it came up. So it's going to go ahead and play here. If I hit play, it'll continue the game. on. Be sure to answer. If I wanted to skip to the next line, I'm going to go ahead and go One. there and you'll How do you this. feel at the beginning of the It does go through and have um, the box highlighted that it's going to select to play. Here's going to be where I'm going to go through and choose. Right now I'm at uh, regular speed. I can have it go slower. Game as the facts about. Or if I like to hear it a little bit quicker. About your situation flash on the screen. Options are there. This uh, forward and back button will move it back. Go to, to placement.org. Or. One. How do you feel? Next. Two. The uh, first decision. It's really going to come into play when you look. take a look at, for example, a Google form. So I'm going to go ahead and select here. And then I'm going to hold on the, the search button and the letter S. Same name. Required question. Aster, which mm -hmm. of the following statements? So it's going to read that one. And I can Asterisk. go ahead. One point. You receive it when you first start a new job. Move my way down. It tells your employer. It identifies how if you had multiple jobs, go back it identifies how much was sure exactly which one and I want to have it replayed back to me. I think the 1.2 is a little bit too fast and we can go from there. So again, we're going to go right here. Once you have it turned on, you're going to notice your accessibility shortcut is right there and it's turned on. Now I turned it off. So if you didn't want to have it on, you can turn it off in that feature, but I'm going to go back in to accessibility text-to-speech, turn that on, and the settings. And again, you can change different options there as well if you wanted to dim the background. 
So I hope you have uh, a great time using text-to-speech. It's a great way to have some of your information read to you.